Hi, doing a quick little video today on solving logarithmic equations with common base. All right, so let's just recall some of the properties of logarithms we have here. If we have, well, the first property is log base b of 1 equals 0, log base b of b equals 1. Now, you might be asking, how do these work? Well, basically we say b to the what power is 1. Well, b to the 0th power is 1, so that's how we say this b to what power is b? Well, b to the first power is b. b to the what power is b to the x? Well, b to the x is b to the x. And another way we can write it is if we have a big base b and it's raised to the log base b of x, we also get x. So b to the what power is log base b of x, okay? So another couple rules. Uh, we have to recall are these. Log base b of m times n, so m times n, and log base b of m divided by n, and then log base b of m to the k power. Well, when you have multiplication, you get addition in logarithm. So log base b of m times n is log base b of m plus n. Then log base b of m divided by n is a subtraction problem. So we can expand this, and you can go back and watch the other expansion video on this, but log base b of m minus log base b of n. And we're going to want to use these properties when we solve uh, logarithms. Log base b of m to the k is, we bring the k down, and k log base b of m. All right, let's look at a, at a simple um, equation here. We have solve for x. Log base 2 of x plus log base 10 minus x is equal to 4. So we can, through the multiplication or through the addition here, we can condense the problem so that we're multiplying. So we get log base 2 of x times 10 minus x is equal to 4. Now I'm going to bring in property number 4. We recall over here that says if we have the same big base, then we just get the x piece to drop out. So now we can go back and apply that property right here, bring the same two base, make it look like it's raised to an x, and that will drop that x and 10x down, and we get 10x, x times 10x, uh, 10 negative x, equals two to the fourth, well two to the fourth is 16, 10x minus x squared after we distribute is equal to 16. And then we get negative x squared plus 10x. Bring the 16 across. We get negative 16 equals 0. Factor out a 0. And once we factor this, we get x minus 2 times x minus 8 equals 0. And your two solutions are x minus 2 and x, or, or x equal 2 and x equal 8. We want to make sure that we always check for extraneous solutions. So are any of these negative? No, it's OK there. And 10 minus 2 is a positive number. And 10 minus 8 is a positive number. So that works. All right. Next one, example number 2. We have log base 9 of x plus 6 minus log base 9 of x equals log base 9 of 2. So we can rewrite this again using uh, the property where division was subtraction. Subtraction turned into division, so we get log base 9 of x plus 6 divided by x equals log base 9 of 2. And then, again, we apply the same base, common base, 9 on each side, and the middle drops down, so x plus 6 divided by x equals 2. The 2 will drop down here. And we get x plus 6 equals 2x after we multiply on each side of the equation by x. And once we subtract an x, we get x is equal to 6. Again, just make sure that we don't have any extraneous solutions. It's positive there. That's OK. And 6 plus 6 would be 12. So that's a positive. So everything works out. All right. That is solving logarithms with common base. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.